Hey friends, once again I welcome you all at Crack Rate B. We have covered five questions in the first part of this series, and today we are going to cover ten questions from this economic and social issues. Total, we will cover top fifty multiple choice questions, and we have taken these questions recently from the news, and this can be related to your scheme also. Sometimes it can be related to your agriculture news, economy news, social issues news. So, let's start with this question. Which of the following states have the highest number of ODS plus villages? Your options are UP, MP, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, or Andhra Pradesh. Which states have highest number of ODS plus villages? So first of all, the answer will be C, and uh, this achievement was achieved by the Telangana state. And this is the explanation for this question. Actually, we all are aware with this first Chhabharat. mission gramin and this is a flagship program of the government of india and recently they have achieved a milestone of this 1,1462 villages declaring themselves as a odf open defection free plus villages this scheme is new is in news so my uh, according to my point of view you should also learn about this scheme what is the swasth bharat mission gramin and what are its target what are the eligibility criteria you can uh, learn about this scheme because this scheme is very important but according to this question recently it has achieved this 1 lakh odf plus villages and these villages are sustain their odf status and have system in place for managing solid and liquid waste so this is the part that is giving this village a odf plus first of all whatever they have achieved in phase 1 they have uh, achieved the status of odf and uh, again they have achieved the status of odf plus by maintaining this solid and liquid liquid waste what are the current achievement under this under this this 99640 villages are across the country having arrangement for this solid waste management 78937 Uh, have this liquid waste management facility and 57312 have this functional solid liquid waste management plants in their village now this is the main part of this ods plus villages the top 5 states which are maintaining maximum number of villages have been declared as ods plus are this telangana tamil nadu odisha uttar pradesh and himachal pradesh so telangana is the uh, state which is maintaining highest number of odf plus status uh, odf plus villages recently government has increased credit limit of rupees 50 uh, uh, 50000 for this emergency credit line uh, uh, scheme from how much amount it means you have to identify what was the previous amount and they have recently increased 50000 for this scheme your options are 3.5 lakh 4 lakh 4.5 lakh 5 lakh or 5.5 lakh it was in news recently first of all its answer will be c that is 4.5 lakh so recently what government has done they have increased this uh, limit of this emergency credit line guarantee scheme by 50000 so this was increased by the union cabinet which is chaired by the prime minister and they have increased this limit 50000 crore from its previous amount 4.5 lakh uh, crore to 5 lakh crore so what was the previous amount it was 4.5 lakh now what is the purpose of this actually we all know that effect of this covid 19 pandemic on hospitality and related enterprises has is still uh, creating they are creating severe disruption among the functionality of this hospitality hospitality and related enterprises so effect of this covid 19 on this hospitality sector is much more severe till now so what government is offering uh, first of all this current news you can take till now the loan amount of this 3.67 lakh crore have been sanctioned till 5th of august 2022 so taking care of this hospitality and related enterprises the government has increased 50000 crore uh, for uh, this scheme from 4.5 lakh to 5 lakh and this was they have announced in the budget 
2020-23. And uh, first of all, they have increased the validity of this scheme to March 2023, and they have given proposal to increase 50,000 crore to increase the total outlay of this scheme up to 5 lakh crore. What is the implementation schedule? I have already told you this scheme will be extended uh, up to March 2023 and they are giving 50,000 crore. Now what will be the impact of this enhancement? This enhancement expected to provide much needed relief to the enterprises in these sector by incentivizing lending institution to provide uh, additional credit up to 50,000 crore at low cost by so they will enable these business enterprises to meet their operation liabilities and continue their business what are the uh, main target they are targeting the hospitality sector so answer for this question is 50000 increase from its previous amount 4.5 lakh to they have increased this uh, uh, credit limit under this scheme to 5 lakh Third question, recently cabinet has approved interest subvention of 1.5% per annum on short term agriculture loan. So what is the maximum limit of the loan they are offering for this subvention of interest subvention under the scheme? Your options are 3 lakh, 3.5 lakh, 4.5 lakh, 5 lakh or 5.5 lakh. It was recently in news. First of all, its answer will be A, they are offering this amount up to the loan or short term agriculture loan up to 3 lakh. There are the detail. What is the purpose? Purpose is to, they are trying to give credit flow in agriculture sector as well as ensuring the financial health and viability of the lending institution, especially the regional rural banks and cooperative banks. Under this, they are giving subsidy to the bank of 1.5% the bank can be of type or lending institution can be public sector bank, private sector bank, small finance bank, regional rural bank, cooperative bank, computerized PSEs and directly seeded with a commercial bank. Timeline is 2022-23 to 2024-25. Total budget outlay is 34846, 856 crore. Benefits is they are giving interest subvention up to 3 lakh to the farmers. And what is the background of this scheme? They are the government of India introduced this interest subvention scheme and it is renamed as the modified interest subvention scheme and they are giving short term credit loan at a subsidized rate to the farmers. Now this uh, recently government has launched this second phase of Grameen Udyami project from which place in our country? Your options are Ranchi, Patna, Lucknow, Kolkata and Raipur. This uh, Grameen Udyami, second phase, recently government has uh, launched this scheme. So answer of this question will be here and explanation is here. The second phase of the Grami Udyami project, this was launched from Ranchi and the main motive of uh, launching this scheme is to promote a skill development and entrepreneurship amongst the tribal youth and they are giving boost to skill India missions. It was launched by the National Skill Development Corporation in partnership with this Seva Bharti and Yuva Vika Society. And its main aim is to train this 450 tribal student from this uh, uh, six states uh, like Madhya Pradesh and Jharkhand. And this is also being implemented in this Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh and Gujarat. What is the main objective of this scheme? It will increase the rural livelihood to rural and local economy, enhance employment opportunities, reduce force migration due to lack of opportunities and it will conserve the natural resources. It will provide the training in these streams like uh, they will provide the training in electrician and solar PV installation, plumbing and masonry, two wheel repair and maintenance, IT and IT, ES with the e-governance and the farm mechanization. Then what about this phase one? Actually in the phase one they are focusing for mobilizing the candidate from the rural and tribal areas of this Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. But since the candidates are mobilizing from this rural area, they are providing transportation and boarding and lodging facilities to the candidate. So in the uh, second phase, they are focusing 
on this objective and they are trying to train this 450 tribal peoples and uh, in the first phase they were focusing on the people or the candidate mobilizing from this area. Next question this is Nipam. Nipam is scheme is related to which ministry and it was in news recently your options are Ministry of Corporation, Ministry of Finance, Textile, Commerce and Industry and Consumer Affairs and Food Public Distribution. Friends, answer will be B. It is the scheme of the Ministry of Commerce and it is first of all its full form is National Intellectual Property Awareness Mission and they have achieved a target of imparting intellectual property awareness basic training to this 1 million student till 31st of July 2022. Its deadline was 15th August so they have achieved this target way ahead of this uh, 15th August so that's why this scheme was in news. Some uh, important point about this scheme is it was launched in 8 December 2021 and it is implemented by this Intellectual Property Office, the Office of Controller General of Patent Design, Trademark and it comes under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. There are some current uh, achievements uh, from uh, its launch that is 8 December 2021 to 31st July 2022. The number of participants, students, faculty trained is uh, this uh, 1,5272 educational institutes cover 3662 geographical coverage they are covering these 28 states and 7 union territories so this scheme was in news recently six question which of the following state become the first state to be Har Ghar Jal certified which means that every household in the state had piped water connection your options are Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, UP and Goa. It was in news recently. Uh, the, the state which have got this Har Ghar Jal certified uh, certification. It means every household in the state has pipe water connection. So answer will be E recently Goa. And uh, this Har Ghar Jal Utsav under the Jal Jeeval mission was held in Panji. And it was attended by the Goa Chief Minister along with some other minister like uh, Minister Gajendra Singh Shekhawat. And the key highlights, under this Goa become the first state to Hargaljal certify. The people from all the village have declared the, their uh, village as a Harjal, Hargaljal through a resolution passed by the Gram Sabha and certifying that every household in the village have access to safe drinking water through taps. It is a part of this Jal Jeeval mission, so try to learn some important point about uh, this Jal Jeeval mission. Under this Village Water and Sanitation Committee, it is also known as a Pani Samethi, has been constituted in all 378 villages of the Goa and 96 villages of the Dadar and Nagar Haleveli and Daman and Deep. So what is the role of this Village Committee? Actually, if you have, if someone has provided this tap water, but it requires some maintenance, it requires some sustainability. So these uh, village water and sanitation committee or known as the Pani Samethi has formed to maintain the sustainability and to make the maintenance of this already supplied or already tap water to these villages. This 10 crore rural household of the country have been con connected to the pipe clean water till now according to this Jal Jeevan mission uh, current achievement. Uh, now this uh, now this uh, scheme that is National Action for Mechanized Sanitation Ecosystem, it is known as the Namaste scheme. You have to identify which of the following statement is not true about this scheme. It is a joint project of the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment and the Ministry of Rural Development. It is implemented by this National Safai Karamchari Financial Development Corporation. Its total outlay for this scheme is rupees 360 crore. Timeline is 4 years from 2022, 23 to 2025, 26 and it is covering the 516 uh, cities converging this scheme with Umbra city and they are taking up these cities under this scheme. So you, have to, you have to identify which of the following is not true. So answer is A. First of all, uh, this is option A is not true because 
it is not the joint project of the ministry of social it is a joint project of the ministry of social justice and empowerment along with ministry of housing and urban affairs it is not uh, this ministry of rural all the options are true let's see some important highlights of this scheme implementing agency is this uh, national safai karmachari financial development total out is 360 crore timeline is uh, 2020 to 23 for 2025 and 26 and it will envisage what is the target safety and dignity of sanitation worker in the urban india by creating an enabling ecosystem that recognize sanitation worker by providing sustainable livelihood and creating their occupational safety through the capacity building and empowered access to the safety gear and machines the main aim i have already told you this first one is the main aim the and uh, apart from that it will also provide alternative livelihood support and entitlement to reduce the vulnerability of the sanitation worker enable them to access self employment skill wages employment opportunities and break the intergenerationality in sanitation workers and it will also bring out some behavior change among the citizens towards the sanitation worker and enhance the demand of safety of the sanitation actually it is not the first thing which we are which our government is doing for this safai karmachari they have roll over and they have launched a very new scheme so purpose of this namaste they are taking they are trying to give support the already existing scheme they are trying to aware the sanitation worker about this scheme and they are also trying that uh, whatever is present they can take benefit or this scheme will support the safai karmachari to uh, avail the benefit of the existing uh, existing scheme now this uh, uh, eighth question this is related to the udan scheme and uh, it was in views recently so you have to identify that in which year it was launched it was launched in 2016 17 18 19 and 20 so answer is a it was launched in 2016 there is a catch friend you can take this catch this scheme was started in october 2016 and uh, the main motive of this scheme was the dream of a common man but the first flight that was run from shimla to delhi under this scheme was run on april 2017 so recently this scheme has uh, completed its 5 years so the probability of coming question from this scheme is higher so i have taken some important from point from this scheme the ministry is the ministry of civil aviation it is launched in 2016 but first flies in april 2017 the main objective is to fulfill the aspiration of the common citizen by following the vision of ude desh ka aam nagrik and with an enhanced aviation infrastructure air connectivity in tier second and tier three city why because tier one cities are already connected to uh, connected with the flight but uh, these tier second and tier three cities are lagging behind so government has target to uh, to ude desh ka aam nagrik by focusing on this tier second and tier three city so what are the achievements till now there are 74 operational airports and it is increased uh, to 141 by the now when uh, this scheme was launched there were 74 and it is increased to 141 there are 68 underserved and unreserved destination these include 58 airports eight heliports and two water aerodromes uh, being con- connected under this scheme with this scheme for two five new routes initiated under this scheme Udan has provided air connectivity to more than 29 states. They have uh, covered one crore passenger, and the scheme has also provided much needed platform to the regional carrier to scale up their operations. So this was the news completed recently five years. So try to uh, understand some important highlight of this scheme, or remember some important highlights of this scheme. Ninth, which of the following statement is not true for the स्वच्छ भारत मिशन ग्रामीण फेज सेकेंड इट वॉज लॉन्च इन फेबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी इट्स ऑन सस्टेनेबिलिटी ऑफ द ओडीएफ फ्री विच वॉज लॉन्च इन फेज वन अंडर दिस स्कीम एंड द स्टेटस ऑफ सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इन रूरल एरिया इट वॉज इट विल इंप्लीमेंटेड फ्रॉम 
2021 to 2025, 2425 in a mission mode. And it has a budget outlay of this one look 40. 1881 crore or none of the above is not true. So answer is E. First of all, all the statement, all the four statement are true and answer is E. Now there are some important highlights for launch in 2020. I have already told you they want to maintain the status of ODS free and they were also including the solid and liquid waste management. Funding is uh, 90 to 10 for northeastern Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand and UT of Jammu and Kashmir and 100% for the UTs and 60 to 40 ratio they are maintaining for the general states. Implementation, I have already told you 2021, 20, 2021 to 2024, 25 budget outlay is this and they are uh, some other thing actually this strategy they are following for this swast bharat mission gramin they are reinforcing the jan andolan on sanitation by engaging everyone in the task of sustaining this ods plus outcomes that was achieved under the phase one and they are also supporting the village for their sewage liquid water management arrangement solid liquid water management arrangement so it was all uh, Swachh Bharat Mission. Now the last question, what is the budgetary allocation they have allocated for this Jal Jeevan Mission for the 2022 and 23 in the budget. So options are uh, 90,000 crore, 80,000 crore, 60,000 crore, 70,000 crore or 50,000 crore. The budgetary allocation answer is C. They have allocated 60,000 crore for this Jal Jeevan Mission and uh, the main under this Hargal Jal in uh, for this Jal Jeevan mission, they have allocated uh, 60,000 crore and uh, they are giving 3 point, they have target of 3.80 crore household uh, covering under this scheme. In 2021 and 22, they have allocated this 26,940 crore uh, through this uh, uh, allocation of the state through this 50th finance commission grant to the water sanitation and rural local bodies. And they are saying that they are giving this total assured funding of uh, uh, 1,42084 crore for the next 5 years up to 2025 and 26. So this is the year wise budget allocation for this uh, Jal Jeeval mission. You can see. And uh, in uh, 2021 and 22, they have allocated 50.011 and they have allocated this 60,000 for the year 2022 and 23. So friends, this was all from my side today. I will come up with more videos. Thank you and happy learning.